Hi, I'm Aldias in Medium, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to try to bring religion and spirituality closer together, and this is what this pod is all about. I will talk about my own thoughts and feelings as I am both LDS and have spiritual gifts, something that I've had my whole life, but I always thought that it was hard to combine these gifts with my religion. This has torn me into two directions, and I have talked to many people who feel the same way. I can't choose not to have my spiritual gifts, but I can choose how I use them, and I always want to use them for good and to help others. I believe my heavenly parents gave them to me for a reason, so this is me. Join my quest for knowledge, Divine Feminine. So we covered some basic traits of the Divine Masculine, and now we are looking at the Divine Feminine. When we talk about Divine Feminine aspects, creativity is the most predominant aspect of the Divine Feminine, and it is through creativity that we understand beauty and harmony. We want to create family and communities to make the world a more beautiful place to exist in. The Divine Feminine strive for balance, to create harmony, peace, calm, serenity. It is in all the receptive energies to receive and to make whole. The Divine Feminine is the powerful creator, and the power can sometimes come like an eruption. We can erupt and have some intense reactions, but it comes out of passion. We are strong. It takes strength to create and build from your soul. Intuition, insight and understanding are also vital aspects of the Divine Feminine. There is a very strong connection to the mystic, to the universe, need to embody Source. We are creating spirits on Earth. And as we create, we bring our soul into manifestation on Earth. As a woman can bear and create a child in her womb, the Divine Feminine is the creator of souls and holds the power to expand and to unite. The Divine Feminine energy is more like a watery force. It can be a bit fiery or passionate, but mainly watery. The mind of the Divine Feminine is more like a mind map. Your main thought in the middle, and then you branch out in all directions. Listening and uses intuition to go out in layers to create a whole picture. If you know how a neuron is created, you will see how I picture it. I used this in the Divine Masculine too. I know, but bear with me. In one end there is a cell body with a lot of dendrites to receive information and process information. And then it goes down to the axon, which is a straight path to the synaptic terminal, which sends information to the next neuron. So, the Divine Feminine is the head, the receiving cell through multiple dendrites, and the Divine Masculine is the axon and the synaptic terminal. Its focus is going forward in one direction, and to get the job done by sending it off to the next one. For the neuron to function, it needs both the head and the tail to work perfectly together, one receiving correct information, and the other transmitting the correct information. It needs to be in balance and harmony, and both doing what they are created to do. So, the feminine listens and supports the masculine's goal, or information. If we are back to the neuron, we receive the information from the masculine, decode it and decide what to do and then we send it on its way, using the masculine accent to deliver the message to the next neuron. But it's actually in the dendrites that we decide which information we receive and which not to pay attention to. So what are some of the divine feminine aspects in the healthy expression? A divine feminine sets strong and healthy boundaries, is intuitive and creative, is loving and supporting, and ready to forgive, can show vulnerability and compassion, and is authentic, she is confident in her body. She is receptive. She asks for what she needs. She loves being in the process of creation, can relate to others and is an excellent listener. She shares with her heart and is a master of creating strong communities. So what are some of the wounded feminine aspects or the toxic ones? Wounded divine feminine is too much receptivity, too much acceptance or passivity or being passive. Too much going with the flow without getting anything done. Lacking self-confidence. Looking for external validation. Has no boundaries. Is a people pleaser. Overshares her emotions. Is insecure. Helpless. Codependent. Toxic aspects of Divine Feminine. Is being manipulative. Needs to control people. Egotistical. Is desperate for love. Abandons. Self-sacrifice. 
easily angry, vindictive and bitter, jealousy, excessively attached, or being stuck in victimhood. I know just speaking for myself, I've been struggling with the wounded divine feminine most of my life, and being balanced had made a lot of impact in my life. Learning to set boundaries and not being afraid to say no has given me a better self-image and self-worth in a sense. Understanding the difference between being selfish and too selfless in regards to having a self-worth and understand how I treat myself reflect on how others treat me too. So it's time to step into balance and heal those aspects of the divine feminine inside of you, whether you are a woman or a man, and to start to live from creation, love and intuition. So this comes with a guided meditation on healing the divine feminine inside of you. Be the light, share the light, spread the light and shine. This is my journey. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Please download, like, share and subscribe and help spread the light and spread the word to expand our community. Let's bring more love, peace and unity to this world. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Always be grateful, kind and loving. Be brave and remember to step out of your comfort zone and smile. If you support us on Patreon, you will get access to our meditations and extra materials so you can download them as mp3. Also, we now have a Facebook group which you can access from our Facebook community. Please answer the questions as you apply to participate. It will be a safe haven where we can keep discussing religion and spirituality, our spiritual gifts and self-development. Remember, one person can make a difference, but together we can change the world. Divine Feminine Meditation Find a place to sit or lay down comfortably. Take time to ground yourself. Close your eyes and place your focus on your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the stress leave the body. All the worries just melts away from you. Feel like you're laying on a grass meadow. You're laying down and you feel the energy of the earth underneath you through your back. You feel the life that flourishes underneath the soil. You feel the bed of grass underneath you and how it's vibrating with life. You look up at the blue sky and you can with your imagination shape and reshape the clouds up there. You can create a dog or a rabbit or a unicorn. You can play with the clouds up there and create anything you want to do with them. The sun is warming your face and you lie there on the grass in the sun, listening to all the sounds around you. Birds singing in the distance, the breeze rustling the grass, just take everything in as you lay there. Now, I want you to grow roots through your back that goes down through the earth. Down and down and down. And connect to Mother Earth's heart space in the core of the earth. Feel her pulsating love for every living thing on the earth. Feel her care and her worry, her joy and how proud she is of you. Feel the grass around you start to grow and cover you 
as you lay there. It grows longer and longer, and soon you are covered in every way by a thick blanket of grass. It's only calming. It holds you. Here, she will share with you the story and creation of the earth. She will show you the reason of the insects, the plants, of water, the sun and air. She will show you the wonders of creation from the dawn of time, and she will show you the why this earth was created. Take your time to talk to her and ask the questions that you have in your heart.
draw inside of you the energy of Mother Earth. The power, the love, the wisdom and the justice. Draw in the energy of the butterfly breaking free out of the cocoon and spreading her wings and fly. The energy of the diamond being shaped from a piece of coal that was put under a massive amount of pressure and heat to emerge. The energy of the tree with thousands of leaves that it releases and rebuilds with the seasons. Bring it all inside of you, the, all the traits of the Divine Feminine. Now, I want you to access the energy of someone you look up to, that for you are a healthy and balanced Divine Feminine. For me, it's Mary, Mother of Jesus the Christ. But you can choose her or someone else. I just want you to call in that energy. See it. Feel it. Listen to it. Smell it and touch it. What does it look like? Harness the essence from the person you're thinking of. It comes from them in the shape of a golden fluid you can hold in your hand and it swirls and shifts in the palm of your hand. Take it and gently let it flow on the top of your head and travel down from your head and your brain to your eyes, your throat, and down to your heart where it takes up half the heart in a yin and yang shaped form. Feel the power in the words that come as you are in a balanced divine feminine state. Creator, in healthy contact with your emotions, seeker of self-mastery, extroverted and open, vulnerable, nurturing, cooperative, gentle, sensitive, understanding, receptive, supportive, empathic, compassionate, encouraging, loving. Take in all the qualities of the Divine Feminine. Feel them blend together and how they calm down and grounds themselves in your heart center. This energy is a part of who you are. Not the whole of who you are, but a part. Now, while being in your heart center, I want you to feel all the aspects of healthy and balanced Divine Feminine and be in the feeling for a few breaths.
Now, open your heart even more and call in your healthy Divine Masculine. Call it in and let it meet your Divine Feminine in your heart. Watch how it feels when they meet and clash. The gold, the silver. And swirl and yield to each other. And how they perfectly just meet halfway and unite inside of your heart. Feel how it feels to be completely balanced and just stay here for a little while. Now, just focus on your breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And when you feel ready, you can come back to here and now and open your eyes. Be the light, share the light, spread the light, and shine.